Hey guys, Lonnie Puppet Kicker here. We are going to do some more work on the four wheel drive. As you can see behind me, I've got my 84 short box Chevy in here. Um, <clears throat> I've already done some work on it. Uh, I've cut driver's side cap corner out, replaced it, and maybe this afternoon or tomorrow I may put the passenger side cap corner. But for right now, we're going to work on the four-wheel drive. I've got, uh, I just went and picked something up, and here in a second I'll show you. So, without further ado, let's just get right to it. Alright, as most of y'all know, um, I've been working on the four-wheel drive I don't believe I've had it on camera, but I've been taking a few pictures. I've swapped the Vanguard out, and I've got a 22 horsepower Intec in here. Uh, it was supposed to have been a good motor, but I've ran into some issues, and I've put a new head gasket on it, uh, fixed the valves on the driver's side, put a new push rod in it, put a new carburetor on it, intake, uh, fuel pump, and it's still missing on the passenger side uh, piston it's missing real bad I can put my hand on the exhaust and it blows cold driver side hand on the exhaust and it's blowing hot so I'm sure it's something to do with the valves over on this side also uh, but anyhow this will be a how-to video later uh, I'm gonna tear this motor down and diagnose it and try to fix it and for any of you out there having problems with this I will be getting some tips and some help from other people, but I'll try to record me as I fix this one. But this motor is coming off here. And here you go, I'll show you what we're gonna put on it. As you all know, here at uh, Puppet Carriers, we do some crazy things. For instance, I'll spin you around here and I'll show you. We have acquired a Stanley motor it's got a 21 or 22 horsepower intake on it. Um, nothing wrong with it at all. Other than the hood's busted a little bit. Uh, it don't want to stay on, but that could be easily fixed. Other than that, it's got new blades and everything on it. But, I'm not going to use it for mowing. What I want is uh, the motor. As you can see, she's a little dirty, but same motor uh, but you can see it has a cap on the oil filter I'll remove that and I'll put a little filter there this motor runs great mows great it's got the peerless 820 rear end in it but anyhow like I said I just wanted it for the motor so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna pull this motor off and we're gonna pull that motor off of that one and we are going to swap them because like I said later on, this will be a how-to video on diagnosing and fixing this one. So, uh, everyone knows how to swap motors over. Let me get this done, and we'll come back, and we'll get a video of it running. Alright guys, with the magic of video editing, the motor has been swapped in like one second. Not even one second, but anyhow, I've got it on here, now we're going to do a startup. seen it running now we're gonna wire this thing and I'm gonna do a video showing how to wire this we're gonna strip the uh, the wiring from the donor we're gonna take the key switch and we're gonna take the choke cable also maybe the throttle I'm not sure I uh, will know 
uh, I may, I'm gonna have to make a gas pedal throttle for this. But anyhow, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do the wiring. So we're gonna use the stock plugs. <coughs> uh, this is, this is the gray one is gonna be the fuel wire for the fuel solenoid. Yellow wire will be your kill wire. White wire, I believe, is headlights. Red wire is charge, if I'm correct. And then we're going to take the starter wire off. We're going to take the, uh, sil the solenoid off and the key switch, like I said. So let me get all this stripped out of here, and I'll come back after we get it, uh, get it out. All right, guys, I'm real sorry I got carried away, and I I've already done my wiring. But I'll explain to you real quick how this works. Okay. First of all, you're going to have four wires if you're running the intake. A Briggs is threatened. It's intake. Okay, your first wire that I'm going to explain is going to be a red wire that comes from under the shroud. It's going to have a black bulge in it right here. That is a diode that is for charging. It comes off of your stator. That is uh, to charge your battery while the motor is running. The wire beside it is the black wire. Okay, that is going to be your headlight wire. Um, that'll run your uh, your accessories, uh, headlights, or or something like that. Um, you rev it up, it'll get brighter on your headlights. The next wire is going to be a gray wire. That is coming from your fuel solenoid uh, shutoff switch. Uh, that will need to have constant power as long as you have the key turned on. Um, and when it, when you shut it off, it'll need to shut off also. Next will be another black wire, okay? Now these, fortunately for me, one comes in a plug like this, and then another one comes separate. From this plug, it runs down to a yellow one and a red one. It's tarnished, but this is a red wire. Then it runs into a big plug, okay? Off of the big plug, you're gonna have, let me move this wire out of the way. Off of the big plug, you will have a white wire, a red wire, yellow wire, gray wire. Gray wire, fuel solenoid. Yellow wire, kill wire. Red wire, that is your charge wire. White wire is your accessory wire. Okay? If you're going to keep your plug, this is what you'll need to do. You will, if you want to run a push button. What you will have to do is run a hot wire from the plus side of your battery boost or your battery terminal to, from your solenoid. Run it to one side of your push button. Run another wire to the little prong on your uh, solenoid. Some solenoids have two. It does not matter. You will ground one of the prongs and one of the prongs you will run to the other side of your push button. The other prong on the solenoid, which is a bigger one, will run straight up to your starter. All right. <clears throat> That's how you run a push button, okay? Now, if you were to run a kill switch, what would you what you would do with this red wire? That's your charge wire. You could run that straight to the battery side of your solenoid which would be this side for me okay then the white wire you can run that to headlights or or whatever the yellow wire if you want to now i'm saying this is without keys you can run this to a toggle switch if you wanted flip your toggle switch on when you get ready to start it leave it on when you get ready to shut it off flip your toggle switch off then your yellow wire, you'll run to a toggle switch on one side, and then on, on the other side of that toggle switch, the prong, you will come out and run it just to a, a simple ground spot. That'll kill the motor. All right. As far as I, the way I do mine is uh, I, I use the stock setup, but I will hook up the main hot to my um, to my battery post as you can see I have a main hot here this runs up to my key switch 
which was, is back here, okay? What I do is I turn my key on, I figure out what wire is gonna be hot for me, all right? And then when I wanna find, say I didn't know which one was my orange wire, which would be my starter wire. And what it does, it triggers this relay to connect both terminals inside of here. I will turn my key on and hold it to the start position and figure out which wire lights up. Once I find that wire, I let off the key to make sure my test light goes off. That will be the wire that I will run to here. And then a simple way, like I said, is to run your charge wire straight to here and it charges your battery all the time. It will not back feed because you have the diode in there. Um, I hope that helps you all. Um, that's the best I can explain it. Uh, another one for me, the yellow wire for me, is my kill wire. It runs up to my ignition. And then this right here, uh, if I just touch this wire to the body, because I have the battery grounded to the frame, it will kill this. But um, the way I'm going to do it is, if you can see, I have a, another prong right here that's my ground wire. I'll put the ground wire on it, which is right here. Uh, let me slide down there. All right, now I will take this ground wire and I will just ground it to my body. Because my battery is already grounded to my body, that will complete the circuit and it will kill my coils when I turn the key off. Um, this is just a little key holder that I have fabbed up here. Uh, let me wipe this off. It's just over from my flux core. But uh, yeah, now you can see all the fuzz. But I, ho I hope that helps. Um, let me get this camera propped up and I will try to start this thing and show you that she still does roll. Alright guys, here we go. I've still got a few things to do. I've got to get my battery. Um, I'm going to take it away somewhere else, but for now I've got it sitting right there. Uh, I've got to build some latches for my bed. I'm going to do a little bit more body work on uh, the fenders right there. Got to paint up here also. I want to build a roll cage on this, but for right now I'm going to toy with it just the way it is. Um, have a little bit of fun since I've not actually got to ride this thing very much. I've still got to build, uh, here we go. I've still got to build a gas pedal for this thing. And I'm going to build a firewall also. But <clears throat> that's it. Like I said, I'm, I'm sorry that it's been a long time since I've done an update and stuff on this thing. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy it. Until next time, uh, God bless each and every one of you. If you uh, have any prayer requests, just write down here in the comment section. Go ahead and, you know, you ain't got to tell me your need. Just say, hey, pray for me. Um, also, come check me out on uh, Facebook, Lonnie Puppet Kicker. Uh, I also have a, a Facebook group, um, Puppet Kicker and Friends Crazy Creations. But, yeah. Hope you all like it.
I got my sprocket water back. As you can see, it's got the, uh, the smoke from the flux core on there. Pretty soon I will be switching that over to gas. A lot of folks have wondered about the trike. Yes, I still have it. Yes, I'm still going to finish it. But money don't grow on trees for me. I have a family I have to support, and they're more important than these projects. I've still I've got my paint for it. I'm not going to paint it until I know I'm completely done with it. Uh, I've got to order different back rims and tires in order to be able to fit some PVC because these are 11 inch, and I'm not going to attempt. I've tried to find some 11 inch. Haven't really tried that hard, but. Anyhow, I'm going to go with some, some 10 inch tires that are on the outside. I know they make 10 inch PVC. So that is where that project stands. My son's project, I still have it. It's back there. It's becoming a, a collector of my hoard. <laughs> uh, again, sorry I didn't get the, uh, the wiring in there, but I got carried away. I've still got to cut that piece of metal off right there. Uh, but yeah, God bless y'all, and until next time, as always, don't buy it. Build it if you can. This has been a Puppet Kicker production. Coming straight up out the woods where I love to stay. It's that country white boy that you love to hate. Pushing them four-wheel drives because we love some mud. And when we party, we ain't stopping till the sun come up.